Hey guys, this is Super Wise One here. Yeah, I'm back. It's taken me a while. Last video was what? Well, last proper Let's Play video was about a year and a half ago, at least. Probably longer, honestly, from since I've recorded it. Anyway, this game is called The Digital Love Story. Uh, I think you guys are probably gonna enjoy this. Right now, it, ha it has an every free player basically on the screen where it shows us what song's playing. This is probably one of the better songs in existence, I don't know. Uh, I really like it. I, I really like this song. There are more songs in the game, which play throughout, of course. That's how game soundtracks tend to work. They, they play the songs. This is, like, this is low par for the game, but it's still one of the best. So, you're gonna enjoy this. Basically, we're on a, an old an old desktop here. We got music, and we got messages. We got version 1.3. We got we got 42k free guys. We did it. <laughs> Let's not fill that up. We we will be filling that up. Trust me. I'm pretty sure we fill it up so much to the point where we we use over 42k for sure. Like maybe not. They're, they're done in bytes. We might be fine. So this is actually a lot of reading. Thankfully... Actually, not thankfully, I'm a terrible voice actor. But I have done voice acting. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, we'll go for it. Everyone's gonna have the same voice, because I have terrible range. But... You're gonna enjoy it. No, you're, you're really not gonna enjoy any of this. Using your new modem. Hey, Connor. So if you... That's literally every time I do an audition, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> I just, it's not gonna work. So you have your computer set up. I thought for Mr. Marshall's kid, I'd throw in a little something extra. There's a dialer for your modem attached to this message. If you plug it into the phone di phone line, you can use it to dial BBSs. Just make sure not to run up your dad's phone bill with long distance calls, okay? Here's a local BBS I recommend looking at. 698-5519. Enjoy. George Wong, Wong Computers. You are creative, fellow, my good sir. Wong. Wong. You, you, you did good. I am very proud. The music's going to repeat. Don't worry. So we download their attachment because we have to. Let's, let's read Welcome to Your New Ami by the system. The system has the exact same voice as Mr. Wong. Congratulations, Skype fucker. No. You've got a brand new Ami workshop up and running. Here are a few things you might need to know when you get the blah 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 blah. blah. This is all uh, instructions. It's a tutorial, but it's kind of relevant because you, basically your character has just bought this PC and they have no clue how to use the internet. Like basically, no, no one knew how to use the internet back then anyway. So I mean, what do you expect? So it's basically just saying, to save, you go there, to lower the volume, go up there. Pretty easy stuff. Let's have a check if he's right. Yep, that's all okay. And then, save. I have played this before, uh, because <laughs> it's an amazing game, and I need to play it. It was about a year ago now, I guess. Yes, it was exactly a year ago. That is, that is what it says. Right, so let's use this dialer application that we just got. So it's 698. Also, I'm a really bad typer, so you're gonna have to get used to that. See? I, I'm brilliant. This modem sound. Ow. Headphone, headphone users are in, which includes me. I'm probably gonna lower that in the here, because I can't. Nope. That's just not fun. No doors. No BS. Just your best connection in all of Lake City. I don't know where Lake City is. I'm guessing... Like, I have no clue. I'm guessing it's a place in America. Let's think of a password. A relevant password. Don't mess up. Don't use your actual password like you did when you first played the game. Um, I'm such a tease. <laughs> Alright. Here we have the... BBS dialer. Yeah. It's basically just like a like a message board, I guess. 
I'm quite young, I'm only 16, so I don't exactly understand or remember, I, I kind of understand it, I don't remember <laughs> how computers worked back then. I'm, I'm an S MSN messenger kind of kid, so I, I was not from the time of using messenger boards and like dial-up, so... Even with that, it still feels incredibly um nostalgic for me, which makes no sense. Also, a lot of this game teaches you about computers and computer history, which is absolutely amazing. I am enamored by this kind of stuff. So this is a message from Blue Sky. The first computer virus appeared on ARPANET back in the, in the 1970s, or just the 70s if you're cool, called the, Re the Creeper, not the Reaper. It traveled across every open system on the network it could connect to, spawned a new copy of itself, and dumped the phrase, I'm the Creeper, catch me if you can, to the screen. I'm pretty sure I've heard of this before. I don't know where. <laughs> I know I've heard of it, though. Probably, like, there are a few games that do this kind of thing, where they talk about, like, viruses or just old computer things. Like, I'm pretty sure 999 did this a couple times. Eventually, a program called the Reaper was developed to clear the infection. It worked in the exact same way, spreading the virus across every available system on the network, self-replicated, and deplete the, 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 the Creeper wherever it could be found. You're gonna have to put up with me something over every word in existence. So, Reaper. Reaper Creeper. Uh, I don't know if Reaper Creeper is even a thing, but... And I also don't know if the World Ends of You was... referencing this uh, to, and f to and fro for the viruses, or if it just thought Reaper Creeper was a good name for a minigame, but I find it interesting they say they, they're the same. First poem by Amelia. You wrote me... You wrote me? Yeah. You wrote me a love letter, promising that every word is true. But I'm confused by the signature, so remind me, who are you? Is it any good? It's the first time I've ever written a poem before, so be brutally honest, please. I'd really like to understand poetry better. I, I agree, Amelia. I write my own poetry sometimes. It's pretty bad. I've read it out loud on the YouTube channel quite a few times. And by quite a few times, I mean two times, so, you know, maybe... Maybe I don't understand the meaning of quite a few, but I've written, read out my poetry a couple times. It, it, not really poetry, but I, I know the feeling. There's Orfeo here. I'm gonna say Orfeo because I don't want to deal with your damn leet speak. What is a BBS? Why, that's an awfully dumb question. In case you couldn't tell, you're on one right now. A BBS is short for bulletin board system, where people come together online to post messages, share software, download text files, hold debates, and more. I can't wait to hold my first debate. Alright, now that we've sent replies to all of those, which I was doing while we were rating there, they'll reply back occasionally. You can't control what you reply with, because this isn't a magic game. You did literally... How would you ever program that? This is an indie game, made by one person, we made a couple of our visual novels, I guess this is technically a visual novel. Um, what? What's the name? It's a really long title, and I played it first, and that's how I discovered this game. And I cannot remember. Oh yeah, you can download these if you want to. I think it's important that you do. It's basically important that you do everything you can. Alright. Yeah. The only way to get the messages back is to... Yeah, leave and then open your messengers. New. So, open history. It's funny that you ask. I had no clue what I asked, mate. I literally did not ask anything. I just replied. I actually am interested in putting together an open history of online computer use, and use starting from the 70s up to today. Right now, I have bits and pieces of it completed, but unfortunately, it's not all connected in the moment. Publication? It is certainly a possibility. I'd read that blue sky, so hit me up. Computer viruses. No, not at all. ARPANET's basically a big government computer network. Also called the Internet. Whoa, thanks for that. Well, it used to be military. Anyway, and it was back in the 70s. Now the military has a separate network. Milnet. I've never heard of that before. I'm, I didn't know. And the ARPANET Internet is just government researchers and college computers. Not anymore. <laughs> right now, it's just a couple hundred nodes, with maybe a few thousand people accessing it in total. I cannot believe an internet existed that did not have, like, a billion people on it at once. I mean, to be fair, I used the internet 
around 2006. I, I went on the first inst the first time I went on the internet was when I was like 10. Um, actually, no, it would be about like eight or seven. So I, I, it must have been around 2006. So you know, I kind of remember a few things like YouTube not being popular. Like I had to discover YouTube from my brother, which is amazing. And I, I made an account in 2009. Or like the start of 2010 was my first account. But it's growing way faster than most give it credit for, for sure. Especially now it's opening to, com to commerce. By 1998, there'll probably be thousands of computer on it. That's pretty neat stuff, really. There'll be way more than a thousand, let's be honest. I do suppose you're right. Thanks, I appreciate your directness. I'll have to keep that in mind for my next attempt. To tell you the truth, I'm really glad you replied. Nobody else really had anything worthwhile to say. Just some compliments that are obviously false. I'm asking if I really was a girl. Why would anyone ask a question like that? But you seem nice, Super Wisemon. And much better than that. Thank you. Please don't use my screen name. That's awkward. Thanks for registering. Your password is near. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you're not getting near. Okay, let's see if I can remember it. I'm hoping that was right. It probably wasn't. Let's... It... <laughs> oh my god. Uh, great. Where's the message? Using your new modem. There we go. 698 or 618. I was close, okay? I was really close. God, that's still really loud. RIP headphone users, including me, because I'm a headphone user, this is just not fun. Yeah, this song does kind of loop all of the time. You know, at some point I'm going to accidentally type in my real password and I'm going to, oh shit. <laughs> it's going to happen. When I see password, I just type in the same thing every time. All right, let's just uh, check. I always like doing this just before I open anything because I know I'll need to... I, there are times where you get stuck and you have to go through like 50 different BBSs and it's just safer to do it that way. Uh, computer virus, viruses part 2. Viruses didn't really hit the big time until they left the networks. And in 1981, a virus infecting floppy disks was released into the wild, slowly letting itself be passed around disk by disk. Now, anyone with an Apple II could be a target. But it wasn't until last year, in late 1987, now we know what year we're in, 1988, that a virus that actually destroyed data was discovered on a closed network. It's only a matter of time before destructive viruses spread to the general public. Is it only a matter of time? Basically, yeah, I didn't need a rhetoric. Only time can tell. But this scary pr prospect is all too possible. Uh, re lack of downloads. Well, Lake City Local isn't really about the where is. Rares? I'm guessing it's rares. Or hacking or any other illegal stuff. You know, the Sysop here doesn't... I'm... It's Sysop, I'm sorry. It has to be Sysop, because Sys as in system and then op as in, I don't know, operator, I guess. Doesn't really want to get himself arrested or anything. You can always check out the Matrix at 2-2. Two, two. There we go, all right, you've got to remember that. I'm not going to remember that. Ever. To be fair. Uh... I would try and look for some paper to write it down on, but I don't really want to. Alright. The BBS fact. How many people are on BBS? Well, that varies depending on which one which one you're on. It can be anywhere from dozens to over a hundred users. Some will only allow a person to dial in at a single time. Others have as many as ten phone lines, letting many people stay online at once. I'm guessing this is like a, a one of the smaller ones. Because there isn't any kind of direct chat. Which I guess would be like a mainstay if there are more people online. Some are even further connected. Or even are even further connected to bigger networks. Like FidoNet or the internet. Connecting thousands of BBSs together. All across the entire world. Just if you want to. I guess that's it. I, I think that's all I've read there. If I go home again and then click messages. No, we didn't get any more. So let's check. Yeah, you don't have to close that, but you probably want to. Tends to be a good idea. Now we've got to remember the lack of downloads so we can get on the matrix. Self-confidence. No, I know exactly what you mean. I really do feel the same way all the time, you know. 
A lot of, a lot of hackers have this very strong sense of self-identity, and I'm very envious of that. They're certain of things, and I've learned very quickly not to be certain of anything. But I wish I could be. Does that make any sense to you? I would not be able to talk to anyone in this kind of way. I'd just be way too nervous. Like, social anxiety, man. That, that would not be fun. 220. I'll, I'll, I'll write it out. I have paper, a printer paper, but I don't know where I have a... I'll find a pen. Found a pen. Yes, sorry about this. But I, I like to make this authentic. I think you get an app later. I have no lights on in this room, so there's no way in hell I'll even be able to read that. <laughs> you get an app later on. Yeah, I hate the fact you can't move the fucking mirror, uh, windows. 220... 7683, was it? I have really terrible memory. I have absolutely awful memory. Let's just say it was. It's a lovely noise. Yeah, I'm pretty sure someone sends you an app that here's new music that actually lets you save passes and stuff. And they, they recommend using a different password for each thing, which I would, but um, I don't even do that in real life. And I just want to keep throwing that joke in your face. This is seriously a good song. Ooh, 2400 board. Yeah, I don't care about Crimson Idlis. I'm gonna turn that off next episode, because it's been so long since I've played, I don't even remember to do that kind of thing anymore. Download all of those. PC Load Letter by Rocky. So, of course, you're up late at the office, working on that important TPS report that you need done for the meeting tomorrow morning. It's hours after closing now, and you finally finish, so triumphantly, you send it to your brand new shiny laser jet printer. Only to be greeted with the following piece of unex inexplicability. Inex inexplicability. We did it. PC load letter. Well, now you don't have to spend hours figuring out what the fuck's going on. PC is short for print cartridge, specifically referring to the letter size. In other words, put in more paper. Did people seriously fuck that up in the past? VRAM overload. Overflow. VRAM overflow. What the fuck does that even mean? The lament of your average ME user. The problem lies in the Mii's memory management, thanks to a bug that shipped in all pre-August 1988 versions of Workbench, and any, mal any malicious or even poorly programmed application can make your and Mii's frame buffer perpetually load itself with garbage data, rendering your computer nigh unusable. The only real solution is to upgrade, unfortunately. StandardLibrary.h Error, I'm guessing. Every time I try to build something with StandardLibrary, no matter what I do, even the simplest program, it always throws the error incompatible types in this in assignment at line 322. What the hell is going on here? Does a me just plain old chip broken or what? A me C. I thought that was a bracket, I'm sorry. Right, there are a bunch of new people here. I'm gonna send them all messages, and by a bunch I mean two apparently. Let's look at the messages. Help! VRAM overflow. It sucks, doesn't it? Don't worry, I've attached the most recent version of me workbench for you. Just download that and reboot. It'll fix the bug for you entirely. I don't trust you at all. <laughs> I've literally known you for like five minutes. This is taking up one of my 42Ks, so around that anyway. It doesn't actually go down though, which is a little bit sad. It really should. That seems like a virus to me. But, you know, oh, oh well. Okay, I'm in, I'm in the Matrix now. I don't know why I even bothered replying to the system, but I can't really re reply back. And this is when we get to basically the main meat of the game. Which is opening up your frickin' BBS of choice and going to and fro to each one. So let's go back to... Ah, oh, man! <laughs> oh, what is it? No, no, that's wrong. I already know that's wrong. <laughs> this is gonna be the entire let's play. It's just me screwing this bit up. And then not being able to find the original... 
message because I never actually save I, I save everything, so. 698. I was not even close. 5519. Bye bye years. Ooh, there we go. Yeah. Continue. Alright. We log in. We type in our password, which is not that that's not our password. And then we get more PMs. And this is the game. This is the game. Are you impressed? You probably shouldn't be. But it is a good game, I promise you. And this geek's gonna be talking about Star Trek, if I remember correctly. And I have I got not a clue about Star Trek, so I'm just gonna say what's written and hope I'm not saying stupid things. What is up with this load of crap? I don't even know where to begin. This bald guy is just terrible, plain and simple. Come on, all I'm saying is a real captain would have just hit the omnipotent guy. Omnipo open omnipotent guy. If you hit an omnipotent guy, he'd probably not get that hurt. I mean, they're omnipotent. Doesn't that mean they're like a god? The moment he stepped foot on this bridge instead of trying to talk it out. This is the military for crying out loud. Maybe it could be good if only if he only got rid of that dumb kid on the bridge and then to start solving problems by punching them in the face. That's not a good thing. Don't solve your problems by punching them in the face. I don't agree with Tiberius's viewpoints here. Then in the gut, then hitting them over the back of the head with both hands. Don't do that. PSA, don't do that. Uh, just, just don't. I, I want to see what his reply was, because I'm, I'm very interested. Amelia's talking to me. After these two messages, it's going to be end of part one, because I have no clue how much time's been elapsed yet. Elapsed. Elapsed. Would not be the right. <laughs> Whatever, man, you're stupid. Thanks, mate. First troll on the internet. Cryptic? I suppose so. I'm sorry. It's just that I'm in, no, I'm, in, I'm in a very awkward position. It's sort of hard to talk about. You'll have to forgive me for dancing around my problems, but it's just complicated. I'm sorry. Can you live with that? I sure can. You're looking more and more like a... Yeah, I'm going to pause that while I talk. You're looking more and more like a... A love interest by the second. It's almost like I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> and you don't. <laughs> Good luck. So, this is uh, the digital game. I don't want to say the full title before I screw it up, because I know I'll screw it up. The digital love story. There is a game that's partnered with this called Analog A Hate Story. Or something like that, which is on Steam. I'll turn the music back on, it's just annoying me, but I, I, I realise in the recording that would be a bit weird, just hearing my voice. Yeah, there is... you can download this, I'll, I'll put the download link in the description of every part, because I can, and you know, it makes sense. Although, I don't recommend playing it. I do recommend playing I recommend playing it before you watch this, or if you have no plans on playing this, just watch this. Don't, don't do something else than that. Don't, don't not do either of those things. Those are the only two choices. Just, just do those two things. I don't know. I have no clue what I'm talking about anymore. Yeah. Down the link will be in the description. There is a part of the game called Analog A Hate Story, which I think is actually paid for. I don't know. I've never played it. And the other visual novel there is like... Really long title. It's, it's a really stupid title. And it's really generic, not uh, kind of not generic. It's not very good. I, I don't remember. It. I liked it. I thought it was cool, but I don't think it's that good. I think it's very anime. I think it's very generic anime kind of visual novel. Whereas this is incredibly unique, if incredibly short, which is why I'm uh, playing it. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoy this. Hopefully I do actually upload, and I'll see you next time. Uh, shutting down the workbench. I'm pretty sure I saved. <laughs> I hope I did. <laughs> Abort.